What is up, Fence Fam? Joe Everest, the Fence Expert. Welcome to another hot take clip, a short clip of a recent live Q&A on my main YouTube channel. For more information on my main channel, as well as exactly the content this clip was pulled from, check out the description below. I'm getting a fence estimate in about five minutes, one side and a front gate. What important questions do I ask? Hmm. Jenny, here we are. Let's... Yeah, let's figure this out. So can we uh, can we talk to the salesperson by chance? Is there yeah. any way? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Have them call in real quick. We've got some questions <laughs> for them. Ken, what do you think? So um, she's getting a fence estimate. Uh, for, man, what is today? Saturday? Yes, yeah, so Saturday. So that's, that's 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 odd. You know, a little bit. But I would want to know first of all. One question I would ask, and then they're not going to be able to prove this. You know, probably because they won't have the paperwork with them. But they should legally have the paperwork with them. Uh, I would ask for for insurance documents and, or, or certificates. You know, just yeah. say, hey, uh, I've I've had an experience with contractors forward, and and uh, you know, I. If, if you're, if you're going to work here and, and, and be my contractor, you're going to have to have insurance. And I, I just, for peace of mind, I need to see that. Yeah. What are they, what are you wanting built, Jenny? Is it a wood fence or chain link fence? Or? Well, so she just said she's over in the San Diego area. So probably what, well, Redwood's really big over on the West coast. So it could be like a Redwood privacy, but no Canon spot on certificate of insurance. And one thing to tell them what I would ask for before they start work is a certificate of insurance that lists you as additional insured so that if they do get hurt on your property, if they do damage something on your property, you're listed as additional insured for that project. That's huge licensing. So San Diego, California, they're going to have to be licensed with the state at a minimum. San Diego, they're also going to have to have a business license. I, I'm just trying to think like like me, like when, when we sell a fence, uh, I, I'd want to know about the gate. Uh, we just we just got done talking about gates. Like, yeah. what what is I see I see now she's saying wood or vinyl. Not she's not sure which one. Uh, yeah. Well, well, let's let's talk about the the wooden gate. It, you know, is it a wooden gate? Is is it a metal gate? Does it have a metal post? Are they using what kind of hinges are they using? Like, there's a lot of stuff. And, and Jenny, they sh in my mind, like when we do this, it's it's uh there's a spec sheet. We just we have a we, Joe. You use job Nimbus. You probably have a mm -hmm. spec sheet. Yep. You select you select wood privacy gate or whatever. Have you got it coded in there? Mm -hmm. And it, and it, and it details out. You know what that is. You know what what kind of latch it is. What kind of hinge system it is. What kind of uh framing it is you know so jenny you sh they, sh they should articulate to you how that gate is, is, is going to be built and whether it's wood or vinyl you ought to see the word metal steel aluminum somewhere you know yep. on that i think the most telling thing there canon is ask them what their warranty is in regards to the gates you know mm -hmm. what do you warranty do you warranty that the gate will work and for how long you know like we'll issue we we do a lifetime workmanship warranty on the entire fence, but that includes gates. So if something goes wrong on that gate because of the way we installed it, we're going to come back, whether it's a year from now, it's five years from now. So the warranty can be really telling also. Ask yeah. what the warranty is. Uh, what what kind of, what kind of, you know, Joe was talking about redwood. What kind of wood is it? Uh, yeah. If it's not if it's not wood and you want vinyl, what 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 vinyl manufacturer is it? You know, and they should be a name. Of course, right now it's kind of tricky. So so they, if they say, well, it'll be either this vinyl or that vinyl, like trust them on that. Just just you know, <laughs> we are we are sourcing from 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 different uh, places for different things right now. That that yep. You know, that's just a little bit different, but I would do some research, you know, if they say whatever name they say, I just research the names of, of those vinyl and, and see what you, what you get. Ask for some references too, yeah. uh, both recent and one that's like two plus years old. So you want to see, <laughs> Hey, what, what is their current state of work look like their current workmanship, mm -hmm. but also what's it look like after a period of time, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, you know, mm -hmm. say I'd, I'd like a job that you guys got done within the last year. Mm -hmm. And then a job that's two plus years old. Mm -hmm. uh, you can just go drive by and take a look at licensing, insurance, trade craft, warranty. So do a little bit of research also. Uh, Better Business Bureau. I mean, Google, you can Google them now and know all of all of what you need to know. Once this is done, ask yourself, what questions did they ask me? You know, because in my okay. mind, uh, you know, a salesperson should, should be kind of a consultant at the same time. And it shouldn't just be a, a hey, I'm going to come out here and measure this. And, and it's this many widgets per that many widgets. You know, mm -hmm. they should be asking, like, what's the purpose of your fence? What kind of fence have you had before? What did you like about that? What do you not like about it? Do you have pets? Do you have kids? How long do you plan on being in this home? You know, what's. Like they should be asking you as many questions as you ask them. I feel like for each of those questions they ask you, they should be building like kind of a pros and cons list. Well, look, you, you said you have this. Well, this is why a wood fence would be good for you. However, a vinyl fence would also be good. However, it's more money. You know, I, mm -hmm. there, there should be a, an understanding between you and that person. Uh, 
All right, she says she says we're great, Joe. <laughs> she also okay. says they're here. All right, all right. Well, let us know how it goes. Let us know how it goes.